Hi friends, uh, good morning. Uh, if you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button and share this video with your friends. If you like the video, don't forget to click on like button. Let's go to the topic. In this video, I'm going to teach you if you get the requirement to plan MRP. For example, you are using a reorder point planning. So if you want to plan for specific locations as a separate planning, how can you? achieve that. So this planning, that location is always uh, expect the material from the main location. And uh, you wanted to get to know what kind of uh, master data you have to maintain that. So let me check the material. First, we will check the material. Let's take this material as an example. And I'm going to show you MRP views, GK. P1 is my plant. So manual reactor point is being used and the 200 quantity is considered. And MRP controller, all the details are maintained. Okay. Now I'm going to maintain for specific material. For specific location, go to MRP4 view. GKP1 is the plant and 0002 location. I want to plan separately. Here, the storage location MRP indicator is the important thing. Storage location stock excluded from MRP or the storage location stock planned separately. You have to select the option two. Okay. And special procurement, you may use it for if you want to use STO and all. And in this example, I'm going to teach you the reservation concept. System will create a reservation for the respective quantity for this location. So reorder point, the stock, the level, when the stock comes to less than this, when you run MRP, system will generate the reservation. For example, my reorder point is eight quantity. Replenishment quantity is the reservation quantity. It's like a fixed quantity. If your bag is available in 10 pieces bags, then you don't keep replenishment as eight or nine like that. So that what will happen that they have to open and two pieces, they have to keep it loose and all right. Generally, the replenishment quantity is the fixed quantity, which is comfortable to do the packing and all we can keep it. If the reactor point is two, then you cannot keep replenishment quantity 10. Then of course you have to go for two. But if the reactor point is eight or nine or seven, then you may think to go for 10. Or else, no, we have to go for exact quantities. We are OK to do the repacking and all. Then you can go for 8.8. Eight. This is purely business decision. You have to tell what is meant by replenishment quantity. So if they are feeling troublesome that every time we have to open and two pieces, we need to keep a lot of loose items, their misplacement and all, then this is the 10 quantity. So replenishment quantity is your preservation quantity. So indicator 2, now saving. Let's go and check MD04 first for that GKP1 plant. See, system is showing 0002 in a separate line because we are planning separately. See, S lock is planned separately for 0002. Remaining all are same. There is no stock, nothing is available. Uh, we are going to run MD02. This is the material. Give your plant. And create purchase equation one and the SA schedule lines, you can give all one. Okay. Click enter. Again, click enter. See, now the MRP run is happened. Now you can check MD04. See what happened at MD04? First system created a reservation for 10 quantity. You can double click on the reservation, click on display. See, the reservation is created for 10 quantity. So this is the material. So system has created a 10 quantity reservation for this receiving location, triple zero two. The source location you can select during the goods issue process from which location you want to move it. But the receiving location is triple zero two because for this triple zero two, we planned MRP separately. Now what else created by system? A purchase requisition is created for 210 quantity. How this 210 has come? 200 is at 
plant level reorder point and 10 is additional requirement. So total 210 is created. You can see the material. See 200 is the plant level reorder point. And uh, as you remember, 10 quantity we maintained for replenishment quantity at triple zero two. So total 210 quantity of requirement is generated. This is the purchase requisition of 210 quantity. This is the way how you can generate a reservation uh, for uh, respective storage location when you plan separately. So these kind of planning is required to maintain at the storage location level data. So you have to explain to the business what kind of uh, master data they have to maintain. For each location, they have to maintain MRP4 data. So this data you can maintain either in uh, MMSC or you can maintain with MM17 or you can maintain normal. See, whatever you maintain, right? The data is visible here. So the fixed lot size and all. I hope this video has helped you to understand uh, how to plan MRP store for at storage location separately. Okay, this is within the plant, so that the main procurement will happen at your main warehouse location, and for the other storage locations, you can send as a reservation with three eleven moment type. If you like the video, hit on the like button, and uh, keep sharing our video.